we have a hall to look at. As you can tell, it's not a great big haul. But I did do some, and I don't really know what's in this box either. So we're all gonna find out together. I just saw the box at my local thrift shop. If you like my sparkly new shoes. Um, Walmart online has three different colors of these sparkly shoes, and I just had to have them. And as you can tell, I'm a little scatterbrained today. But see, I get cute. Ah, uh, but anyway, I had to saw this box of things, and I thought, I don't know what's in it. They all look paintable. Let's buy the whole box. And then the box decided to try to rip on me. So a lady at the thrift shop sat down in the middle of the floor. I kid you not. And she took two boxes of things and condensed it into one box. And there were some fake flowers in a trash bag, but it got lost on the way home. I didn't even notice that it had fallen out. So somebody else got some free fake flowers. No big deal. So the bag I lost and this box that you saw along with the basket, $8. And then I spent eight more dollars at a different thrift shop and I got myself something for the summer. Now I don't know if this color is gonna look okay on me or not. Now this is a really light, I would say kind of a rayon almost material. Will it look good? What do you think? But it's just a knee length dress. Probably a little wider than I need, but I thought it was cute. I'm going to do a flea market booth with a couple of my friends, so I thought I'd give a few things to paint and then buy some cheap, yeah, not too cheap, but some stuff to put with it and make like a gift basket. And this is going to be one of them. It needs cleaned up inside, so we're going to do that. And it's, it started, it's painted kind of, and it looks really good, but I want to touch it up a little bit, put some sparkle to it, and then I want to add like some baby socks and fill up this internal here with baby items like gas drops and baby socks and wrap it up put it in a make a gift basket out of it to, to sell or give away but that's what that's for got me a basket just get a basket i always need a basket i got two of these I really like the wood look, so I'm going to see if I can't find like a, a hummingbird stencil or something to stencil a hummingbird on here or some kind of flower or something. Get a battery operated tapered candle and put the, and you got to set here. So then I'm just going to try to stencil something on there and have those. I thought those are really cute. And they, they went in the box. I added a few things to the box that I did see, but the box is full of things I didn't see, too. I'm keeping this because I keep the newspaper and stuff. That way, if y'all text me and go, hey, I want that, I can mail it out to you. Um, that way, you know, and so if you guys see more something you want, let me know in the comments and I'll get with you. And I'll mail it out to you. Um, but I don't know what this is. Oh, wow. It needs cleaned up and can get painted, but it's one of them big wall spoons. I think it goes like this. So I bet you this other tall one is a wall fork. I'll bet you money that's what this is. My grandparents had something similar, except theirs was wooden. I think it's still in the kitchen dining room. Uh-oh, this one may have broken. Now I have a policy, if it's broken, and I can fix it, I will fix it, but it does not get sold. That is something that gets given away. I never sell something that was broken. And, you know, you take a risk on a scooter. Yeah, yeah, it broke, I think. Yeah, it's a clean break. And I have some glue that's coming in from Walmart Online that will help me fix that. Wow, my girl I just met named Sarah boom we're friends now um we're gonna just hang out this summer and stuff so that'd be fun she's about my age but see it's a she helped me wrap this stuff but it's a clean break so what i'm gonna do is this set will be given away once i get it fixed and painted um i've got the stuff to fix it coming so this will be a 
gift giveaway. We'll probably, uh, probably find a home for that. I don't know where, but I'll probably find a home for that somewhere. I got myself another basket. This one will get on put on the wall with command hooks. And I'm going to try to hang like some, I don't know, ribbon or whatever. It's going to be hung from there. I'll try. Uh, sorry about that. Message came in. But I got this. Didn't even, I think I paid a quarter for it. I'm going to put it on the wall with some command hooks and for more storage. Vertical storage. That's what we'll call it. Mom got me some ribbon. Nice, pretty, pale pink. Oh, come here. There we go. Nice, pretty, pale pink. Mom got that for me. Wasn't that sweet of her? I got this sign here. It says, Dream. Reminds me of my friend who uh, passed away last year. Cindy George. She always told me I'd dream big. And I got this. Bless your heart. Now, if you're from the South, that can also be a criticism. <laughs> but I'll probably use that for a Valentine or something uh, next year. Maybe make a Valentine wreath next year. And, uh, oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. See? One way the heart's white and one way the heart's red. So I will actually take the time to fix those and and I'll we'll put that. I really liked this. I thought that that's really pretty. I don't know if I'll use it for a wreath. Probably not. I have a friend whose name is Hope. I might actually give that to her. I don't know. I haven't talked to her in quite a long time. This is one that I saw and picked up right at the last. It's a soap dish, I, I do believe. I picked up this big guy. I want to do some Santas and get them for... Now, Christmas stuff, believe it or not, will sell you around. Believe it or not. I saw this little girl and she's glazed, which means it's going to be harder to paint her. We've talked about that. But I thought she was so pretty. Give her a light color like gown and gold wings. And maybe some pretty light brown hair or blonde hair. Really pretty. She's going to be, I think she's gorgeous. Don't know what I'm going to do with these, but there, I'll figure something out. You know me. I met a girl today at the thrift shop named Sarah, and she was really nice. So we're going to hang. So I got another friend to hang with. Hold on, this is upside down. Oh, Lordy, I can use these in the craft room for super glue and stuff. Let me show you what it is it's a little basket. So I can put my super glues and my glass glue uh, in there to keep them separate from my other glues. Because I do have different types of glue that I keep. Because some people may break something or I may break something. This is... I'm not sure. I think it's a, teddy, it's a bag of toys or something. I think it's a bag of toys for Santa. If I remember right. A little angel. Really kind of needs to be cleaned up a bit, but that's all right. We can do that. Little puppy. I'll probably keep that one. Paint this one to look like mom's dog Coco. Keep that one. There's a set of three of these. I gotta find the other two, but this is one. And there's three of these. So that might get paired with the train and get sold as a gift set. 
for a kid. A boot. Ho, ho, ho. Sign a boot. Hold, hold on. Just, sorry about that. This is the top. Now, I never got to see a good look at this. There's a little figurine on top of here. Look how detailed that lid is. That's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Let's see what the container looks like. They filled it with this stuff because they knew I was coming home on their cart. So, oh, there's stuff in it too. There's little bitty pieces in there. Hold on. This is going to take a detailed brush. One of my single hair brushes, probably. This is so tiny. Ah. Little no man, little snowman. Let's see what else we got. A little granny or Mrs. Claus, maybe. A rock, a sack, sack, toy sack, or something. Not exactly sure what that is. Doesn't look like it was broken at any point. I think it's a Santa toy sack. Got this little piece here wrapped in. This is an ornament for a Christmas tree. There's two of them here. Detailed on both sides. Those will be painted and kept for my Christmas tree. My best friend Danny and I used to have a set with each one of our pet, pet's names on here, so that's kind of a sweet memory. Here's the pot that goes to the the top. It's like a biblical scene, I think, or some kind of. I can't see it well. I'll have to use a have you know use my fingers and get under a magnifying lamp to see it, but it looks like a nativity story on it. That's what it looks like. And here's the whole thing. If you want to see any particular piece painted or you're interested in a piece, just drop me a line in the comments and I'll get back to you. I think my email is on the about page but I will try to put it in the comments for you. I saw this jar and I've got three others like it. So they're great for um, storing small things. So I will use that in the craft room for more storage. A little snowman ornament. She really packed this book so well. She did a great job. I'm going to be picking up shredded paper forever. <gasps> She's going to have to be painted. I find her wing piece and um, she'll be given away if I can find her wing piece. Unfortunately, it broke. That's a risk I take though, guys, because I can't drive. So... There's two of these. I told you there was three of these little guys. Here's number two. And they will probably go with the train as well. A nursery set. That's the whole through set. So the whole set together is this one, and this one, and that one. 
What do you think? Should I put it together a nursery set? It's five o'clock somewhere. You know this is going on a wreath. Come on, you know me this well. I wonder if I can pick this up. Oh no, I cannot. And you know I love angels, so another little angel. I try to get all this home on my scooter and sometimes when I have to go over the tracks, no matter how gentle I am, that's gonna turn out so pretty, isn't it? Use red for the roses, a nice deep green for the leaves, maybe antique, an antique uh, parchment color for the picture itself. Sarah really thought that was pretty, so I might paint it and give it to her. Here's the other angel. So I'm glad to see they made it home okay. This little one was down in a corner. She's been up at the shop for a couple of months, so she came home today. I think this guy is cute. A snail. Noel. Noel, Noel. <laughs> Flower. You know, I can always use those. Another ornament, or at least, I know it's a little teddy bear. It's flat like the others, but I think it can, would make a really cute Christmas ornament. Maybe put one of my great nephew's names on it for the Christmas tree. Find another one and put, have both of them have their own ornaments on the tree. And then when they come over, they can help hang up their own ornament. I think that's pretty cool. This is pretty. It's just a little plaque with mushrooms. It's got a hook on the back to be hung up. Hold on. I think. Ah, there, I got it. It was in the bubble wrap. Another, another little mouse ornament. So I definitely have ornaments to paint for the Christmas time, and I'm going to put both my great nephew's names on one, and they will forever be on the tree. And I should have enough to put my nieces on the tree and all that good stuff. This is the Liberty Bell, 1776. It even has the famous crack. That's really cool. So I'll do that uh, probably antique copper or a sterling antique silver. Hey, does anybody know what the real Liberty Bell was made out of? Was it silver? If so, I'll do that in the silver. And again, this somebody's whole hair decoration set. Oh, look what goes with the snail. Isn't that cute? Now, I was going to say, I think this is a two-piecer, but I don't know if this comes apart. But there's a candle and other, some candle stuff and stuff inside, so it needs cleaned up. I'm not sure how to clean it up. I think it does come apart, but I think it's stuck together. I'm going to have my friend Carrie, I think I'll send this home when she comes over and see if Ronnie can unstick it. I'm not sure if, if this is going to be save, salvageable or not. It's full of wax. And, uh, these lines here are painted on the inside as well. I don't know about this, guys. 
I really don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to come apart. We're going to give it a clean up and see if I can get the candle wax and stuff out and paint it and go from there. It says made in China. Suck. Talking to inanimate objects again. Another kitten's in a basket. I'm running out of room. Up we go. Up we come. There's some really little mice in a basket. Little bitty mice in a basket. Like I said, that's going to take some detail brush work. And I don't really have a good detail brush. So I'm going to have to either buy one or cut one down. But good detail brushes can run you $6 to $25 for one brush. So I just cut down an old brush of mine because I don't have that kind of money to spend on a paintbrush. Hold on, I got to get through another layer of bubble wrap. I think I might have a set of these already. So I'm hoping the other one's here, but I don't think so. Because I know I've got two in the craft room. Or the use of. Ah, here it is, here it is. Here's the little girl. I knew that there was two. Those are good size, too. Those are really good size. Those are cute. Quite a few little bitty ones in this one. I'm glad I went in there today and she was almost getting ready to close up when I went in there. Oh, uh, more of these. You know I'm keeping those. I might give have of my give a few to my friend as a housewarming present because she's moving into a new place. So I might paint a few for her new Christmas tree this year. I've got an angel ornament for Aunt, that I'm painting for Anne in memory of Anne that will go on my Christmas tree. Here's the other. There's a pair of the mushroom plaques. This one's a tea light candle holder complete with a tea light still. Fits in pretty tight too. The light, the candle fits in real tight. So that's pretty. I'm going to send a picture of this to my friend Jessica. I think she was looking for something like this. So I'm going to send a picture of that to her before I paint it. She wants it she can have it now isn't that just darling oh it's a little one to match the other it's a little moo cow that one's a moo cow another row of bubble wrap we're down to the final roll. I put this one in here. It's going to be a bite in the butt because it's glazed. But I saw it in the window and couldn't resist. A little shelf sitter. He'll sit on the edge of the shelf and his feet kind of dangle over. I've painted several of that pattern. They always, they always turn out so pretty. Another one that I'm going to take a picture of and send to Jessica. I think she was looking for these. Something like that. So that's three I got to take a picture of and these are candle holders quite heavy it's quite got quite a weight to it got a stopper in the top to hold the candle it looks like part of the horn 
is either broke off or was already off. Yeah, the handle of the instrument. But I don't see it in here, so it must have must have broken off pre pre Tanya. Pre Tanya. Call it PT pre Tanya. So that's my haul for today, guys. I hope you liked my little video. If you see something you want or you're interested in, I'll put my uh, email in the description. And just, you know, get in touch with me and I can paint it to what you want and see about getting it out to you. Bye, guys.